We will discuss on this video the pole line hardwares that are usually seen in outside plant. Pole line hardwares could be both applied on power line or any telco wireline utilities. We will concentrate on the application of these hardwares to aerial fiber optics cable laying. Pole line hardwares are essentials in cable attachment to the telco pole and in supporting the telco pole as well to withstand forces applied onto it. Let's start discussing the cable suspension clamp. This pole hardware is used with bolt as a clamping member and shaped to securely grip messenger wire. There are two types of suspension clamp, which is the straight and the angled. The difference is that the angle have curved ends to prevent damage to the messenger strand when turning small angles. Suspension clamps are attached on machine bolt provisions of pole clamps. It is assembled with pole clamps before it will be fixed on the to the pole. The nuts are loose and it will be tightened when the assembly is prepared on top of the pole. On this scenario, the suspension clamp used is the straight one. Prepare the pole clamp first. Once ready, the loose nut will be tightened using movable wrench. Let's discuss types of pole clamps that were typically used in aerial application. These pole clamps are used only suitable for cylindrical or rounded shaped poles. Types are named as RL, CA, DG, and GCA. Sizes vary depending upon the pole diameter. CA, abbreviated as clamp attach, type pole clamp normally installed with suspension clamps to suspend aerial cable. RL or right left type pole clamp is used for attaching secondary racks to extension arm. GCA or guide clamp attach type pole clamp is similar to CA but it has additional nuts and bolts opposite to where the suspension clamp touch. The excess bolt is used for guiding purposes. DEG or down end guide pole clamps are used on dead ends, corners, pole risers, and turning cable ropes. Now let's discuss about pole extension arms. Cable extension arms are used to support cable at a distance from the pole. All extension arm should be hot deep galvanized finish. The extension arm is furnished with two machine bolts full thread with nuts and two galvanized iron spacers. There are two length of arm available in the market which is the 22 inch and the 44 inch arm variety. Mounting is accomplished by 5 8 inch or 3 4 inch machine bolt in the upper position and 2 1 half inch lag screw at the lower. Install RL pole clamp on top and CA pole clamp at the bottom. These are the pole mounting accessories of an extension arm. After installing pole clamps, we can start attaching the extension arm. Fix arm position and tighten all nuts and bolts. Such cases where 44 inch arm length is insufficient, 10 pin extension arm is used. 10 pin arm has 2 meters length and it is made of either wood or metal. It was called 10 pin arm because it has 10 counts of holes with 10 mm diameter on its surface with equal distances. Same with Ali arm needs RL and CA type pole clamp for mounting. After fixing pole clamps, 10 pin arm is ready to be mounted. It needs two ladders and three men to install the arm overhead. 
One man will support the end of the arm and another will mount the arm onto the pole. Make sure ladders are secured. Electric live wires should be determined and avoided. Insert arms allotted hole onto the right machine bolt of RL clamp and fix. Now install the upper arm brace support. Alley arm brace is a cross arm mounting to one side of the pole. Insert support arms allotted hole onto the left machine bolt of RL clamp and fix. Next, install the lower arm brace support. This is mounted in 45 degree angle. Install machine bolt from where the tattoo support arm will meet up. Upper arm is situated on the left while lower arm support is on the right side. Insert support arms allotted hole onto the CA bolt clamp below RL clamp. Tighten up nuts with washers onto machine bolt. Once arm is installed, we can now suspend cable on the arm. Insert machine bolt vertically on a latted hole on the 10 pin arm. Place suspension straight onto the messenger wire of the cable. Mount suspension clamp onto the machine bolt. Let's discuss about pull-off construction. Pull-off is needed when cable road is turning and the use of alley arm is not possible. It is made up of suspension curve clamp, reformed guide grip, and thimble eye. Here are the steps in pull-off construction. Place suspension curve onto the messenger wire. Install thimble eye onto the middle hole of suspension clamp. Place preformed guide grip onto the thimble eye. Measure a messenger wire enough to reach the pole clamp and the thimble eye. Tie a preformed guide grip onto the pole clamp as well. Fix preformed guide grip from thimble eye and pole clamp onto both ends of the measured messenger wire. Apply tension to pull the straight running cable. Cable will look like attached onto pole without alley arm used. We have just viewed the installation of pole line hardware such as pole clamps, suspension clamps, and extension arms. Pole line hardware such as guying, sidewalk guy, anchor block, 
and grounding will be discussed on other video presentation. Thank you for watching.